Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Caleb. And I'm Spencer. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today we are doing a preview of Wonderbook from DV Games. Now, Wonderbook is what, like a family cooperative? I would say a fa family-friendly story experience. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. And uh, there's a sort of a legacy component to this as you play through the campaign. Uh, but it's something you can reset. But I will say that each uh, chapter, the, de the, the game is going to be played in a series of chapters. And each chapter is going to have a deck, which uh, is numbered. So don't shuffle, please. And then you're going to go through, and, and it's really straightforward. The cards, as you flip a card, it will tell you to continue until X happens or flip the next card. Or sometimes it's put other cards around, yeah, when, around the table. Right. When we were told the rules, it, it was literally like, Two minutes of explaining the rules and then just do what the card says. Yeah. It's, and that was it. It's pretty, everything is really straightforward. Uh, now, it was taught to us, but I never felt like, oh, I, can I see the rules? I don't really understand yeah. how this yeah. this works. It was all, it was all uh, very direct. Uh, so the interesting thing is, is so you first, you're some kids. You start to go on an adventure. And uh, this is actually like the cover of the Wonder Book. But uh, as you go flipping through the deck... You then you flip the board or the book over, and now you have the map, right? So your guys are all going to, this is actually gridded out, and so uh, you're going to, then you're going to be forced to make some decisions. Do you want to go for the treasure? Do you want to go for the book? Are you looking for... Uh, Do you want to go for that bookcase over there? All kinds of good stuff. And then the next thing you know, critters start popping out of the portal, and... They are not cool because they want to attack <laughs> you. Uh, and then there's a there's a a, a monster deck essentially uh, the worms. Yep. And now this deck you can shuffle. And uh, spoiler alert: as you go through and unlock other stuff, there's going to be more worm cards added to this deck, which make them even they get pretty nasty, even meaner. Uh, and we will, without going into like a ton of uh, details, but I will tell you that so front of the book. It's really cool looking. Now you've got your game board. But after you do this first mission, the first chapter, which is the only thing we played last night, uh, you then enter the magical world. And there is a whole bunch of stuff in this tree. I mean, there are things. We're not going to spoil it. We'll let you just find out for yourself. But, I mean, there are things going on inside of this. There's things going all on around all around around it and uh there is a super rad surprise that if you play through the whole game you do get to find so guys you played wonder book with me asymmetrical characters i mean i what'd think, you think i think different characters a very easy to understand very easy to teach kind of you know approach to gameplay and who doesn't love loot and surprises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, <laughs> treasure chest did not contain what I thought it would. Contain. No, it did not. <laughs> not at all. Uh, it was it was pretty cool, and I will tell you that uh, this this right here, this unassuming book has a lot of surprises in it. Yeah, right. And uh, a lot of stuff that just looks really neat, and I think uh, really actually add to the gameplay and fit the theme. And the story, they really do tie it all together uh, really well. Uh, there are, it does come with uh, some geek box boxes to contain the bits. There's these uh, sparks which you can gain, will, which will allow you to take like special actions. Right, and then there's health as well. And you know, even look at these guys. These guys are pretty nice looking. Yeah, I really let them look at them. <laughs> and you have the 50-50 dice for hits and misses. Yep. Yep, and oh, everybody hits on different things. You know, some people roll two dice, some people roll and, roll one and, die. And sometimes, I mean, you're also rolling for the monsters, so sometimes you want the misses. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you do want the misses, but you roll all hits. Yeah. How many times did that happen to you last night, Tim? Yeah. Well, I missed a lot. Let's just say <laughs> I missed a lot. If uh, Thankfully, I wasn't the guy with the baseball bat because my uh, batting average would have been terrible. Uh, very true, very but, true. You know, hey, I would have hit a home run when it, when it mattered. But would I would have struck you, out you, six though? times. <laughs> well, it took me how many times strikeout. just to pass that one item? I, four times to, to pass key, one item. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so dumb. Yeah, no, it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know about you guys, but it, just as a gameplay experience, playing with a, a, a good group 
and enjoying the storytelling aspect of this because that's that's some of it, right? It's, oh yeah, is uh, reading the cards and actually uh, caring about what the flavor text right. is in the story. I mean, we have chapter one here, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. Five and six. Five and six. You can count. I'm not certain how many there are. If there, I believe a, there's six, six chapters. In the, uh, in the base game. It took us, what, an hour, an hour and a half to go through chapter one? Yeah. That's right. Right. We obviously haven't played the others. But and we, we did take some time messing around with some stuff yeah. and playing with different components. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was not a huge time sink. Um, I also really like the asymmetric abilities of these guys. So everyone has their own uh, action and their own special skill, which you can use if you have a spark. And... They all were really useful. They all worked well with each other. Like, I hope I'm not spoiling anything by explaining that so. the little boxer girl can teleport to somewhere else oh. and swap swap places. She can also her normal attack hits multiple people, can knock them down. So if she does that, teleports this guy over here. His special ability just automatically hits three people. And so by using little combos like that, mm -hmm. you can, uh, I mean, they get nasty, but so do we. Yeah, no, there's real strategy. Yeah, there uh, is strategy. Which is, it, which is nice because it's not just I'm going to walk over and hit because you get like three actions on your turn yep. and, it, and you can do whatever you want with those, like move or search or pick, pick something up. up. Some, yeah. Or you could just attack three times. And uh, I, I believe all the characters have the ability where you can spend a heart to reroll your misses. Yes, yep. I think so. Which, is, so. which is come in handy. For me, but only once per turn. That that kind of, well. but <laughs> but you can, uh, but but there is strategy. You know, combos that we figured out as experienced gamers, which allowed us to still sort of enjoy it. Uh, you know, sort of on a deeper level, trying to figure out, okay, how can we maximize like all of our right. abilities? But yeah, you could real like I could sit and play this. I could play this with my nine year old today, and she would probably want to play at least the first two chapters before we stopped. Uh, and she would have no problem grasping the rules. Now, no, no, she no. may not get into the strategies like we did, where we're like, okay, like we're gonna, I'm going to do this, well, and then you're going to do this. But yeah, I but think I think I think the value is that you can play it with your nine-year-old. Oh, 100%. I think, that is, I think that is really, you know, the, you know the, the essence of what this, this is going to be. Agreed. But, but we Agreed. as experienced gamers, we didn't explain this part. Uh, when you die in the <laughs> game, you don't die. You just kind of, you're knocked down for a turn, and then... Next turn, we have this stack of hourglasses, and you flip one over for every person who's gone, and they stand back up. And it's grayed out. And <laughs> there are some things that will make some of them go, and some of them come back. But we only had, like, one or two down by the end. There was, what, ten of them there? Yeah, and I guess you can modify your difficulty yeah, level, you can modify right, by shortening exactly. the stack if and you want. once you run out of that stack, you've lost. So yeah. it's a group lo lose. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty nice. And no player elimination. Yeah, no player elimination. Which is which is great. There, there's all player elimination. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just the game's over. Start again, dummy. But uh, but yeah, this is Wonder Book. I I was excited that we actually got a chance to see it because there's not a lot of copies over in the United States right now. Um, but again, I'm just going to show this, it is, this bad beautiful. boy off and uh, all the little secrets just from here. And I'm this is a prototype. This isn't even actually the the final uh, version. But uh, this will be coming out in October. They will be a you will you will be able to see this if you're at Gen Con. So find DV Games and their booth at Gen Con and tell Bryce we said hi, because I know him. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so October it's going to retail for like 80 bucks. So ask your game stores if they know about it. Uh, you could probably look up DV online. You could join the Facebook, find them on uh, just either DV Games or go to the Wonder Book. Type in Wonder Book. Bloop 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 bloop. It's going to pop up. So that's really all I got. I had a really good time with this. Oh, I yeah. look forward to actually seeing uh, not only the finished copy, but like how this story pans out. Right. Yep. Having looked at some of the surprises uh, in there, I want to know how they play. Exactly. Right? And how mean <laughs> they can get. <laughs> and, and crazy because, it, I mean, there's just some things in there that totally change the way the game is played. Like this was a map. We're going around and we're interacting with things on a map. We saw a thing on the inside of this where, like, the shape of the path changes and oh, things yeah, are happening yeah. and other and critters then, are popping up. And when we and revealed involved. the secret, it was, yeah. like, it was a completely different mechanic. And we're like, what? This isn't the kind of game we a thought we were totally, playing. A totally different mechanic <laughs> oh, yeah. right in the middle of the game. Oh, yeah. And in yeah, a good great. way, though. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, uh, Changed everything. And it made it fun. Like, yeah. uh, not that it wasn't fun. I was going to say, mean, wait, what? It, it, <laughs> It was it, it added, it to, the added to the fun. Yeah. It maintained the fun in a different way. It was, yeah, a little bit of spice. Fun. Yeah. 
little bit of spice in that gumbo. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, uh, nothing but good things to say. Had a really good time playing it and was glad we got to see it. So, you guys got anything else? Uh, no, that's pretty well it. Yep. Right on. Well, for the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. I'm Caleb. And I'm Spencer. And this has been Wonderbook. We'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.